one, the opportunity to work with two amazing actors who I was sure would have this incredible chemistry with each other, but who one wouldn't necessarily expect would have this incredible chemistry with each other. Um, and the other thing was to make this sort of a comedy um, that had a lot of heart that was on this kind of grand sweeping scale. Um, I was really into, from a directorial and cinematic perspective, like filming the parties and filming the action sequences um, because it had such a strong um, emotional through line in it. Um, and I think just tonally for me, it was an, an opportunity to make a comedy that harkened back to movies that I grew up with in the 80s that were like more grounded emotional comedies, um, like Tootsie and When Harry Met Sally and stuff like that. I think what's so interesting about the character of Charlotte is that she's someone who, by all accounts, is really successful um, and is someone who, um, by all accounts, is living the best version of their life. Um, but what was interesting to me was exploring both through the lens of, like, celebrity and through the lens of politics and through the lens of sort of of gender like what are the things that this character bumps up against and that was a a incredible opportunity with this movie is to thematically explore like not just a politician but like what does a woman come up against when she's trying to be the best version of herself and what are the compromises that she makes and what are the compromises that she doesn't make I think any time you have the opportunity to work with someone like Charlize, you just jump at it. Um, and I don't think there's any role for which she would not be fantastic. Um, I think that, to me, what she brought to this movie was a level of sophistication and groundedness and reality um, that it would not otherwise have. I mean, we did not want this to feel like a traditional comedy. And so when you, when you get Charlize in your movie, I think the audience expects a certain level of just quality in general. Um, and both because of her performance and because of her choices. So I think having her co-sign the movie just in a, the broadest of strokes like really helped us tell a grounded story. Um, and then just beyond that, like the nuances of her, of her as, a, as a performer are just so incredible. And finally, um, you know, this was something I suspected but I didn't quite know was that like she's just so funny. Um, and from the first time I met her, like, I could see that personally she was very funny. And then just the way that she was able to, to, to amplify the humor in the movie, um, I thought was just incredible. At the beginning of the film, Fred has just been laid off slash fired from his job um, working for a free weekly newspaper as an opinion columnist, um, who is, I guess, too opinionated. Um, and he uh, runs into um, Charlotte at a fundraiser um, and lets her know he's unemployed. Um, and she is looking for a speechwriter. She has just been told that she needs someone to punch up her speeches because her, um, she's been kind of polling her humor and, and, and she needs a little bit of a boost there. Um, and so she sees him, and even though he is kind of an unlikely uh, candidate to help her, I think she kind of deep down knows that she's missing something in her life and she chooses him to be her speechwriter. O'Shea and June and Robbie uh, all brought uh, tremendous uh, both humor and uh, grounded performances to the movie. Um, and they, I mean, all, all of them were, it was, you know, it was tough to kind of build out the tapestry of the cast um, because you're looking for people who have dramatic chops, who are first and foremost funny, but who can also deliver on a, on a dramatic level, um, or who can also, you know, in O'Shea's case, it's someone who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Seth um, on an improvisational level. Um, and June and Robbie also, like, had to be able to improvise. So, you know, our, our original goal was, like, we would complement Charlize with more comedic actors, and we would complement Seth with more dramatic actors. We challenged ourselves to make this movie um, incredibly funny, um, but also not to lean on any old tricks. Um, so what really, I think, differentiates it is that it's funny and heartfelt. Um, and I think it's a movie that, like, guys and girls of many ages can go see and really have a good time and really laugh. And it has something kind of interesting at its emotional core um, that everyone can relate to. Um, but I think more than anything, it's just pretty fun and funny.